Hi, I'm Dr. Douglas Baldwin. I'm a mathematician and food expert at Breville. Hi, I'm Otto Romer, and I'm the head of Cuisine Chemistry and R&D Integration for Breville. Today we're going to tell you about the history of the Joule Turbo Sous Vide and cook some of our favorite recipes. You and I have cooked sous vide for many, many years. Yep. But for everyone out there, can you tell us what sous vide cooking actually is? Sure. It's a cooking technique where you take a resealable bag, you put your food in it, then you place it gently in the water, and then the Joule heats the water to the perfect temperature so the food comes out perfect every time. Oh, I think it's amazing. So, Otto, what are we gonna cook today? We're gonna make an autopilot chicken and potato dish. Then we're gonna make a lemon meringue pie. Well, I'm going to do a turbo steak, perfect medium rare, just the way I like it. And we're going to do it in about half the time it usually takes. So I'm gonna set up my jewel. Oh, cool. Just choose the recipe and then get started. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna take a bag. Then I'm just gonna put all the potatoes in here. I'm just gonna take the bag out. Try to get as much of the air out. Well, I'll finish the chicken and the lemon tart. I'd love to hear from you on what your role was and how you came up with Turbo. Yeah, of course. The sous vide cooking, as we both know, really consistent results, but it can take a while. And I thought maybe we can use math and science to cut that time in half. And we found that we could develop an algorithm. And what it does is it understands how energy flows into the water and into the food and into the environment and does a bunch of calculations in the background to figure out exactly how long to cook the food. Wow, that seems really complicated. It is. It's the same sort of mathematics that's used to track rockets in space. I worked with three other mathematicians, all with PhDs, to really figure out how to get this algorithm to work. The results are amazing because mm. you don't lose that sous vide cooking the texture and the flavor of yeah. the meat, but you're cooking it much faster. Yeah. So who doesn't like that? So here I have some chicken thighs. Yep. Put in a little bit of oil, some thyme sprigs, a pinch of salt, give it a quick mix. And then I'm gonna grab another resealable bag. Then I'm gonna carefully add the chicken. My sous vide is at temperature. Oh, great. I'm gonna drop it in the fast. potatoes. So Douglas, how does turbo actually work? Oh, that's a great question. Before we cook the steak, and put in the bath, we put these parameters in the app and it cooks your steak exactly as it needs to be cooked in about half the time. Amazing. So we put our steak in the bag. I like to put just a little bit of oil in the bag, take a quick measurement. I'll be entering it in the app. Then we take it over the scale, we see what the weight is, enter it directly in the app, and then we can get cooking. With conventional sous vide cooking, you add the food to water bath that is preheated to the temperature that you want the food to be cooked at. Then you wait. The heat energy slowly flows through the surface of the food, raising its core temperature until it's done, cooked to perfection. Those last few degrees, though, can take up to 60% of the cooking time, which is why it's slower. With Turbo, it raises the temperature of the water a bit higher early on, higher than you normally would cook the food at. But at the right time, it turns the heat off and lets it cool back down to the temperature you want the food to reach. This allows the food to cook in half the time, but still delivers perfect results. How much we raise the temperature and when we turn the temperature down depends on numerous variables. These are all things that the algorithm adjusts on the fly. So the best part is Turbo runs an autopilot. So it takes all the worry out of it and gets it done in half the time. It's really saying, let technology do what it can do best and let us do what we can do best, which I assume is eat steaks. I think we're pretty good at that. That lemon curd's looking great. Yeah, it's about, it's ready. So oh, wonderful. Let's take it out and put it in the fridge. So let me get this straight. Autopilot. Yep. Turbo. Yep. Half the time. Still delicious. Who wouldn't want that? Yeah. I mean, that's the best part about sous vide. You get it going and then it takes care of itself, which is good because I think Catherine's coming by. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Hey guys, what's cooking? Hello, Catherine. What's not cooking? So <laughs> here we have some potatoes and chicken cooking in autopilot. Behind me, we have a tri-tip cooked for about 16 hours. We have a pork shoulder that's been cooking for about 24, and then Douglas just started a turbo, turbo steak. steak. Wow, you guys are busy. Yeah, Catherine, who is the Jewel Turbo designed for? Well, for example, I see you're cooking steak, mm. and we love steak at home. Oh yeah. But frequently, especially during the middle of the week, we don't have time to cook that. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a busy family, people have got homework, but with Turbo, we've been able to cut the cooking time in half, mm. and now we can enjoy uh, lots of our meals you know, during the midweek as well. I'll be back for the pie. Make sure to save me a slice. We will. Awesome. Right. Bye-bye. Uh, chicken's ready. I'm gonna finish setting up, but the beauty of this, it can just stay in prime time. Once it's done, it's at the same temperature. It can stay there for a while, depending on what you're cooking, and the food will never overcook, it'll never change color, 
and it'll be ready when I'm ready. Great. So I'd love to learn a little bit more about the Jewel app. Great. Here's Ricky Castro from the app team. I prepared him earlier. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. You guys are cooking up a storm. So we've made the app super simple. On the home screen, we have a number of recipes that you can look at. And when you find one that you want to cook, you're a steak guy, right? I am. You can tap it, and we show you all the simple instructions that you need oh, to do. Exciting. And when you're ready to start, you can press Let's Cook. Ooh. And this is visual doneness. It shows you exactly how the food will look when you're finished cooking. So this shows you exactly what you'll get? Yeah, let's choose medium rare, which I think is your favorite. It is. And from here, you can choose between fresh, frozen, or turbo. I'll tap turbo. All you have to do is press start, and off you go. When you're cooking autopilot, what's great about it is your phone will receive notifications at every stage of the cook. You don't really have to remember anything. The app just tells you what to do. It doesn't matter if you're watching TV or in a Zoom meeting. Exactly, because we have prime time. We give you a window where you can come by and get your food whenever you're ready. Steak's ready. Well, technically, it's still in prime time. Right. All yeah. we have left to do is sear the steak, crisp up the chicken skin, and whip up some meringue, and then I'll treat you guys to lunch. Let's do it. So look at this. Results are perfect and evenly cooked through. Oh, and only half the time, it's the same visual doneness that we expected. Amazing, should we dig in? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna get this end piece here. Mmm. 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 Perfect. Oh, that steak sure is good. Next, can we have some of your amazing pie? Yes, but we gotta save some for Catherine. Oh, good idea. 